Hey everybody, it's Andy Davis here from DraftKings. Welcome to week four of my wonderful series, Away Day of the Week. Each week I pick a wonderful city in this fine nation of ours that some lucky football fans will be visiting this week. And this week I have picked Burnley. Hull fans, it's your turn to visit Burnley this week. You've got a 3 p.m. kickoff on Saturday. And now I know, Hull fans, you are residents of the upcoming 2017 uh, UK City of Culture. So you're going to be very, very discerning fans for me to pick uh, uh, things for you to do for. But I think I've come up trumps uh, because Burnley is a city steeped in history, culture, the arts and fine dining. Now, any trip to Burnley has to begin with a tour of the Morehouse Brewery, where they make the famous Pride of Pendle Ale. It's an extensive 45-minute tour where you'll learn about the brewery's history and the intricacies of brewing itself. You will touch, taste and smell the raw ingredients used for making ales. And your ticket also includes either four pints to be drunk on site or a two-bottle carry-out pack. Now, get there early, though, Hull fans, as you've a lot to do today. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to take those beers with you to the match. So why not grab a few more from the nearby, nearby Lifestyle Express off-license and sink them in the beautiful surroundings of Thompson Park, an ideal location for the slightly inebriated Hull fan, as it boasts a boating lake, a paddling pool and miniature railway. Now, at this point, you'll be getting pretty tipsy, I'm sure. So why not take your alcohol fueled enthusiasm to the Queen Street Mill Textile Museum? It's the last surviving 19th century steam powered weaving mill. And there you can relive the days when cotton was king. And you'll watch some demonstrations of, of weaving, toweling and dobby looms and perm winding. Now, this should take you through to uh, match time. So why not? Uh, Grab a bag of chips from Holt's Fish and Chip Shop just by the ground and save your appetite for a post-match slap-up feast at Burnley's number one restaurant, the Hollywood Star, which has a solid three-star average rating on TripAdvisor and review highlights which say, the food was better than expected, I had the liver, it was okay, and it's only about a 10-minute walk from the bus station. Wonderful words, I'm sure you'll agree. Now, for culture lovers, Burnley, like most places we feature on Away Day of the Week, has a big world-class theatre. But also, like most places we feature here on Away Day of the Week, there's nothing on this weekend. Theatre land, what is wrong with you? Each week, I try and promote a local theatre and you're not showing anything. Sort yourselves out. In this, it, for this reason, Burnley and your theatre, well, you know who you are, I am not going to give you a plug this week. I am disgusted. But there we are, Hull fans, unfortunately there's no theatre for you, but you will surely be in the mood to party. And where better to go than Pharaoh's Funhouse, which has all drinks at £1.50 before 11pm, there you will see a lively, fun crowd, all enjoying 90s and noughties house and party tunes. But Hull fans, be warned. While one recent review does say, and I quote, some say it's better than Nando's, I agree. Another warns that although the club itself is so much fun, it's a shame the egotistical steroid fueled doorman let it down. So there you have it. Burnley is my way day of the week. Play nicely, Hull fans.